In the daylight? Yeah, yeah, I know we had a couple late nights, but you know it's always fun, right? So, fucking <laughs> dead panel once again. Ooh! Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I just like to reiterate that he's done a major job since so jam, and you know, done a thieves, and I can keep going. But you know, we're here for the Walking Dead. So, what would you like to start off with? Ooh, sorry. Oh no, no, that the goo was for the question. <laughs> <laughs> An actor who hates a camera flashing on him? <laughs> well, I didn't say flashing, you know how that goes on set. Well, that's just because the DP will yell at you. Right, they're, right. They're, right. they're a director of photography. It's like, I just need to know if it's flashing. Flashing. Yeah, cause, uh, <laughs> so like we have cameras going on set because the one it's dark. Um, and then yeah, we have to do like the continuity photos. So when I first, when I first started acting, <laughs> I was very like, Aware, so that like they're doing your makeup, they're like touching you up, they're like fixing your hair while they're taking photos, like constantly. So you have like three people just like, like doing this to you, <laughs> and and it's always a it's a sign of like very green actor who's like just no, I, I, yeah, I'll be very helpful. Oh, you need my makeup? Great, great. And now and now I'll have people touching me. I won't even be aware of it. I'll be like, did I do? Wait, is my hair like like I don't care? <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> that's what I noticed. Like, oh, I care about. It's like, is my skin not blotchy? Hold on, did they? Yeah, we did it. When did you do that? I was in your face. I'm like, oh, right. So now I'm just like, so like, not used to it, because then you'll have like a, oh yeah, on top of that, of everyone touching you, you then have like the director giving you notes, and you're like, thank you, thank you. And now it's like, where is everybody? It's like they were here. And so it's, it's, uh, so that's a big, that's a big difference of like when I first started acting to now. Um, so on Walking Dead, you know, we're just greased up constantly and it's always dark. So when they have the cameras going, the flashes, they're like, just say flashing, please. But now they don't even, they don't even care about that anymore. <laughs> we got sunlight, we never will. Um, yeah, is everyone caught up on, on, uh, on the show? I just want to not go <laughs> too spoilery. <laughs> so, wait, Carl died? How did that happen? <laughs> Alright, so we're all good with that. Oh, Henry got beheaded in his thing. Oh, 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 oh. They walk out. I gotta go. I gotta go. Nee, he killed Alpha? Are you kidding me? That's crazy. <laughs> well, um, how much time did you have to spend in the chair? Um, it got. I, I was, I'm very. <laughs> the great thing about Walking Dead compared to other things is that the makeup is. You know, on other shows, it's like if I do like a CBS thing, it's always like perfect skin, but it's too, like, I'm like, that doesn't look, that looks so, uh, I try to avoid makeup as, as often as I can, you know, sometimes I'll show up with, like, they're like, where were you last time? What? What, it, what does it matter? Your eyes look like you were double punched. Well, it wasn't. It's like, okay, well, we need to fix it, fine. So, yeah, also another thing, it used to be, like, when they're working, like, that, the eye, like, under the eyelids and stuff, there's always a like that, and now I just like have come they'll just go Pum! just dig around my eyeball and I'm like, you know, it's fine. <laughs> I've lost all feeling. <laughs> I've lost all eyeball feeling. Um, yeah, the I am gonna stop talking about makeup. No, yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> so, but the, uh, no, but yeah, the makeup it's, it's always quick. Like the hair like <laughs> Okay, so alright, so this past season, or this current season, um, in that fifth episode we're like hanging out this uh, this whisperer, and then we stab him with the, or we, we stab a walker with like deer antlers, and we're moving in. Okay, good, all right. So, uh, and uh, you know the guys, the guys screaming and like yelling and just shouting, and you're just thinking like, you're just, you're just thinking like this is gross, and like the, the walker, they kept putting blood in his mouth, but the blood tastes good. So Greg, Greg is like, you got, hey man, you got to not. So do you still have that blood in your pocket? Stop it! Stop eating the blood! And it's like you see a walk with like perfectly white teeth. You know, it's like, and you're like, it's like, oh, that's that's creepy. <laughs> it's like, like, like scary image. Yeah, um, walker with dental. You know, right. <laughs> so, so that episode, I got home one night, and this was on 420, which I didn't celebrate. Which it's funny because you know, but like, uh, I passed out. 
all right, just from exhaustion from filming. And I woke up the next day late, all right, like I was late, late for work, and everyone just assumed, I'm like, no, I didn't, you, I did nothing. <laughs> like, you have no idea how I'm saying this. So, but I showed up, I was, I was like, really late, but I get, you know, base camp, there's a base camp PA, a production assistant, and he's like the, this guy named Landon, friendliest, like, it's how you want to start the day when you're like, hello, Mr. Cooper, sir, you know, and he's like, this is very, like, like, just this, uh, he reminds you of like a squire, but like Lenny James said, he's like, that guy is going to be a director, and he's going to be amazing one day, but like, there's certain, certain people, you see them, when they first start working, you're like, Oh, they'll, you know, they won't be in this business long, but then there are other people where it's like, oh, he's gonna, he's gonna go somewhere, and, and yeah, he will be, so it's, but it's, uh, uh, where was I going with this? Yes, so I show up late, um, only time ever I've shown up late. They're already like, I mean, crew's already there, like normally I'm there before crew to get through all the works, and, but I was done. I didn't, I came home and passed out, I didn't even wash my face, I didn't do anything, I just got up and left. I'm like, okay, we're gonna need you to go through the works. And then I was in here for two minutes. Tiffany was like, well, just, great. You know, moved on. <laughs> Tim was like, all right, we're good. You know, it's just like literally just two brushes and then and walked out. And so I showed up on time uh, on set. And I was like, <laughs> successful. <laughs> so that was, uh, that's the fastest I've ever been through makeup. Actually, I lied. Then I went from, a, there's this scene where a car is in the hospital, or Ezekiel's in the hospital because he uh, is getting his cancer treated. Okay, all right, good, And I had to go right from there, like, it was like 5 a.m. I got to set, and then I went right from there, uh, we shot like six hours, and then went right to Shazam. And so I had to like drive over to Shazam, which is like 30 minutes down the road. Uh, <laughs> and then, <laughs> It was my same walking dead hair, you know, like they just, oh, I mean, and like my makeup was like, you know, because it was, uh, we're in the Commonwealth, so we're clean, it was like the first time we're not like getting mudded up, and they're like, oh, I guess you're, I guess you're done, so there's one, there's, uh, you know, the hair and makeup for walking dead, you get a one day credit for a, <laughs> for Shazam, <laughs> <laughs> so you don't, you don't clean, you don't clean yourself is what we're gathering. Awesome. That is awesome. Um, question? Yeah, so when you uh, rolled in late, please tell me you still went to the catering truck before you went to makeup. So, Landon, <laughs> amazing guy, um, he was like, Mr. Cooper, sir, we have, I have your uh, whatever the thing I'm eating. I think it was like chicken quesadillas for breakfast. Oh, he did. It's like girl. 6 a.m. <laughs> chicken quesadilla. Um, so a little bit of oatmeal on the coffee, please. And that was, oh, and then because of Cassidy, um, we, we, this is the most actory thing. We always get carrot juice, so they'd have to like make the carrot juice uh, for us. So we drink like every morning, but it was a joke. We did that cave episode um, in season nine, ten, ten, and uh, and Mike, uh, Mikey, uh, Mike, Mike Sajusimus, Sa 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 he, he's. Uh, he was a DP that turned director. He was like, you guys know. And uh, um, he, he was like, oh yeah, no, I got everybody carrot juice. Because uh. <laughs> it's so, like, the cave scenes were so dark. Which I loved that episode because it was the middle of summer. And uh, <laughs> I'm very, like, I talk about the weather like how my grandfather used to. Like, this is so important. Like, we didn't talk about the weather, guys. This heat is crazy. It's like, okay. So no 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 you know so I'll go into that but we were shooting in the summer and that cave was like like you know it was made it looked, looked like a uh, looked like you got to hang out in like a, an amusement park you know it's like hey we're gonna shoot in this amusement park we're gonna make it look real but like, really okay it's an amusement park though um, but yeah that whole cave scene so it was nice and cool the entire time uh, I was like just I was like this is the most unwalking dead but also the most walking dead um, like Norman was. Uh, Norman was like, yeah, it's like the first time it feels like Walking Dead in like years. Like this is like, like this is like hurting. It's like we're like crawling. This is awesome, you know. And you're like, and so it's always like, whenever like Norman gets excited about anything, you're just like, you, you automatically get excited about it too. Just it, it's not because oh, you're Norman get excited, but like he he's you know he's like this is awesome, you know. And like he's just you know like we're like looking at the cave with such a like that episode is so much fun because you know it, it's. 
that's how we sort of get to know like the rest of our, our, our other cast members, you know, because it's like it's between the chairs. So like I was watching, I started watching again, and I was watching uh, like some of my stuff, and I'm, and I'm always, you know, I, I was saying earlier like I can do, uh, I can watch my stuff for the first six months, and then after that I can't, like I can't look at me, I can't hear me, and I'm like, oh, God, oh, God, why did you do it? Oh, why did you just do this? You know, but. I always, I always know to myself, I'm like, I did the best I could at that moment. I wish I could have done better. I'm sorry. You know, that's like me in, in performance. I'm like, that's the, I couldn't do better than that. I'm like, that's, a, you know, hopefully I improve. But, um, you know, but I'm watching these things and I'm like, like these episodes and I, but my memories are the, are the in-between, you know, because like a, a take is anywhere, I mean, the take can be as long as 10 minutes, but like, you know, but a lot of takes, it's like two minutes, three minutes, you know, we do like the, we do the scene and then it's, all right, movie cameras, we're going like, all right, let's get the, let, let me get like a big, uh, like a little thing over here. And, uh, you know, and then during that time, it's us just talking about like the silliest, silliest stuff. Um, and uh, so my memory is when I'm looking at this, and what did we, oh yeah, that was the day this happened, you know, like, and I think of all these moments where, uh, uh, you have Carol doing like all these like badass things and it's like she's like shooting stuff. I'm like, yeah, I don't remember that. I just remember her falling a lot. Like she falls a lot. <laughs> and not painfully, just like comically. And it's always, she always like tips over or she like just, she's boom, boom. And then like you, she'll go behind something and then she's gone. You know, you're like, wait, where did, she should be continued. Where did she disappear to? Maybe like you turn around and she's like, <laughs> like laughing about it. How I, when we did like the snow episode, there's like this. Uh, it wasn't you know it wasn't real snow, but we're in like the uh, we're in the, the studios where we, they do a lot of the Marvel stuff, and they made like these snow hills and these and these mountains and whatnot. And but it's like slippery stuff. It's not snow. It's like soapy stuff. So she <laughs> she goes up, and then this is the first time I've had noise on from my phone because I swear I didn't think I was gonna wake up today. Oh, this is so rude, man. I'm sorry. I felt the uh, same way. Awesome. <laughs> I'm glad you guys got, We just got to like, convert us talking like this whole night. It was a great, yeah, it was just like a lot of, um, it's silenced, I'm sorry. Uh, and <laughs> she then just slip and slide, like she just came down and, and she goes, like, and I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> and like, and I can tell, I mean, I've, I've done enough, I've fallen enough myself to know, I mean, that's it, she'll be all right. And uh, she's like in her snowsuit, so it's like, Barely, like, and, and she's like, "Don't let them come here! Don't let them come here!" And then the whole crew's like, "Melissa, are you okay?" She's like, "Oh, I'm great." And she's like, "Should oh, like, to be on before they all get here?" She's like, "I don't know why." If anything, she does. She's like, "Don't come! I'm fine." So was, everyone's like, "Are you okay?" And she's like, "Like, so super sweet so about it." Which is, like, oh, "Just get them." <laughs> well. I do want to kind of touch base about one thing that yeah. you know, we talked about the other night. And I yeah. loved it. Yeah, it was um, it was about your headspace. To me, that was very important. Like when you're in your scenes and how it affects you. Oh, that yeah. really, like hit me in the spot. Oh I mean, yeah. Like, like, you don't think about those things when we're watching the show. How it's gonna affect their work. You know what I mean? And the real conversation we had. You telling me. Uh, oh, what you yeah. had to do and all that. And that to me was real, real. And that's why we're here, right? Well, it's City Nightmares. We don't want the same thing, we want the real. Yeah, well, good. I don't, I'm, I, it's, I say that, you know, <laughs> I always say I'm too lazy to, too lazy to make up things, and too lazy to lie about anything. <laughs> He's like, do you always have to find a way to, like, flip it? It's like, if I don't want to answer it, I'm just like, oh, I can't answer that. Or I'll just make up, then I'll make up a blatant lie. But, um, yeah, so for instance, uh, um, that episode where uh, the kingdom gets pretty much annihilated by that 50 cal, and like I split that dude in half. Um, uh, we do those scenes, but that was like a, that, that episode in itself, and there's a lot of, a lot of this, but we are in that headspace all day. So when I see a bunch of people die, you know, I'm sure it'd be worse if I really saw that happen, but it's as much of a, of a feeling of that as I can get. I watch my friends get, you know, shot and killed. So we, it's like a whole week of you going through this whole place and when it's action, it, it, everything is gone except that moment. So you're reliving, you're doing like 
15 takes from different, you know, different angles, you know, and stuff like that, where you're just like seeing this intense thing. And so your body is exhausted. And it, you also felt like you just went through this, like you're just getting like wrung out. And so when we, when we do these performances, it's like sometimes it's really fun, but it's like sometimes you have to shake it up in between, you know, and, and you know, we can like still, it's, we, we can still like converse and be like, oh yeah, this and this. But then when you get back into it, it's like, oh, and then they're dying again. And then you just like the your heart, you can feel it like it speeds up more, like it's and you're constantly putting your body through this this thing, and it's this weird it's this weird feeling. So I like to to add to like the you know we ended the show right, and for me who's not been I mean like it's crazy to me to think how long I've been on it now because I think oh I just showed up and I'm like it's been six years now you know I came in years ago. And this is a character that I played for so long that I, I, I love I love Jerry. When everyone's like, if you can play another character, who would it be? I don't know, Jerry with two swords? I don't you know, it's like this, you know. It's like, you know, it's like Jerry with a lightsaber would be a fun character, I guess, you know, like um because I, I always I, I mean it's it's me, it's my character, you know, it, it's and then uh but you know, saying goodbye to something like that, you know, and it's just so and, and they never talk about that, you know, people like Seth who's done these these other shows, you never talk about the, oh, this is goodbye, this is it, and you're, and this, that, like, you, you, it's, it literally felt like I saw Jerry go, peace, and then I'm like, bye, dude, <laughs> see you later, you know, and so, yeah, it's, it's just such a departure from what we were feeling before. How special was it having Greg Nicotero direct the final episode, and did you get to keep anything from the show? Some things, I mean, they, they were, it was a little wink, wink, sh sh but like, <laughs> I mean, I definitely took, <laughs> what do you do, AMC? They're going to be like, oh, we'll show you, we're going to, and by the way, I say this, AMC was really nice about everything they said, so, but I took all your clothes. Uh, I took all your clothes. <laughs> I'm like, who else is going to fit in this? But I have my sword, I have, um, I have some. I have some other things. I don't have my real, real sword, or do I? And I have, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, but yeah, I kept the things that, like, that you know, they, they bring memories. So there's like certain pants that I'm like, oh, I never wore those pants, but man, these are comfy. And you're, like, you're just going around like kicking things. I want to wear them in the summer. Everything in The Walking Dead is like winter design, um, except for this last season where everything was like nice and like, oh, I can breathe. Um, <laughs> But yeah, I definitely got to keep a bunch of things. And then, I mean, Greg, Greg is always such a, such a presence there. You know, even when he's not directing, he's still, I mean, he was still just like, you know, it's the last season. Why would like, he was like, yeah, I want to hang and watch, you know? Um, but Greg and I, he was my, you know, he was the, he's who I started it with. You know, my first episode was with Greg, my last episode was with Greg. Um, and it's, it's amazing. Like the first first episode, I have uh, I have my axe, um, and in the script it goes, everyone raises their guns. Jerry pulls out his axe. I'm like, okay. So I do this thing with the axe, like this little martial arty kind of thing, and then Greg goes, yeah, why like why aren't you pulling your gun? I shoot you. I'm like, I didn't want to first. First episode, first you know, first few days on on Walking Dead. I'm not gonna go. Well, the script, sir, says I should be using an axe. I then go instead of that. I go, I go. Oh, yeah, that's that's a much better idea. Thank you. And now nowadays, it's like now now like just how the relationship goes. There's a scene coming up. Uh, you'll see it where I'm interacting with someone I haven't gotten to interact with before, and it's it's a, it's fun little moments with them. And um, there's. A bunch of things happening, uh, you know, city kind of things, nothing like Walker related. And I'm just like walking around with this apple. Um, I just, and, you know, Jerry has that thing, like one of my first lines is, it's fruit time. So anytime I can put like a piece of fruit or like cobbler and, you know, with me, I'll, I'll do it. You know, I'm going to take that moment. And, and, and Greg was like, you're really going to be eating an apple in this? And I'm like, well, I'm not doing that. <laughs> you know, like the, uh, during, during, you'll, you'll see it, but uh, so, but now it used to be, oh, you're right, but now, like, it used to be like, oh, okay, now I'm like, 
I'm doing the apple, and you're going to love it, you know, kind of, <laughs> kind of thing. So it's just how the journey is like, all right. But it was, what was cool about that was just that it showed that Greg was always, always ready to, like, like take on the, what's your idea? Let me hear it, like, kind of thing. And he was always, always great to, to uh, uh, collaborate with. But I didn't realize that when I was first there. I was like, okay, like I didn't make the argument for the axe. I'm like, well, it, you know, and then I think there was a time where, like the first time I take a walker, I want to grab it here and then just throw him off of uh, Benjamin. And he's like, don't do that, I, he'd bite you. I'm like, so the deal with snakes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so then he, went, so he had me like pull it from the shoulder. I'm like, well, all right, so then I'm like, Toss the walker that way, but I was like, "Thank you for the." And, you know, and I, you know, I've been doing martial arts since I was three. You know, it's like I like uh, 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 I got into film trying to do stunts. It's funny; it's the only thing I haven't done professionally is stunts. Um, uh, the irony, of it all. and uh, uh, but yeah, like weapons, like like you know, kung, uh, uh, the deep like uh, kung fu base. You know, I'm, I'm terrible at it, but enough to know how to you know <laughs> chuck someone by the neck. And so it was like, "Oh, this is safe for my." All right. So, like, having to like now, I just be like, no, let me demonstrate. You know, but like Homer Simpson, that thing. Why are you? Oh, but yeah, that's the so that that little bit of like Greg flip. Oh, speaking of uh, another thing of like a full circle kind of moment. You guys, all right, this is so. I was a boom operator. Uh, I did like second units. I didn't. I wasn't there a lot, but I would show up throughout the seasons, and they'd always like whenever we do second unit, it's always like we just need the insert of a hand picking up a coffee, you know. But they would give us the whole scene of what it was from. We didn't need that. Just show like hand grabs coffee, but instead they gave us all these sides. So and sides for anyone that that's script. It's the it's the section of the script for the day. So the sides for the day is a portion of the script. So they're like. Hand me the size, it'll be like six pages typically, maybe a little more, a little less of what you're going to do for the day. I get sides that are like 40 pages. So as a fan of the show, I'm just like getting, oh my, oh my god, whoa, this is nuts. You know, I'm like reading through all this. Um, and uh, 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 where's I going with this? Rambling through a full circle. So, so the scene is Andy, uh, Rick, he's in the car, and uh, he's, he's you're already like, it's a parked car, but they're going to just, green screen or something, and he, and he has to drive. Um, and I, uh, no dialogue, so I'll just get camera perspective, which is just I'll stick the, I'll stick the microphone in the front of the car, and, you know, the problem, it's gonna be music. It's like, you know, like, as a boom op, you know, it's like, makes us like, get in there, we wanna hear this, like, nothing to hear, don't want a shadow, we're just gonna get, it's fine, all right? So at the beginning of the, you know, getting the take, like, all right, we're ready, sound speeds, we're ready. I, Andy then just starts like, he starts, starts ah, 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 like just cursing, like ah, ah. and then, and then they're like, all right, pictures up, and he's like screaming, like, right now, like, like to somebody like, like put it on the microphone, I have to like put it in there, like on the transmitter. I'm like, oh, and then you know, so I'm just holding a stick with nothing on it, and I have to like pop the, the transmitter on the microphone, and, like I stick it in there, and then I'm like, uh, okay, all right, uh, I guess he's, I guess he's gonna be doing some stuff. I, I, I didn't see that. And then he's like, ah, ah, action! <laughs> Cut! I don't, I don't know what that was. <laughs> we got that. I guess we got it. I don't, I don't know what that All right. <laughs> so, so that's season five. I got that was season five. Flash forward to season eight. 50 yards down, we're doing the uh, uh, mid-season finale, and it's this opening shot where we're all in like the cars and we're all driving. We were uh, at this point when I'm about to do my scene. I was there for like 13, 14 hours at this point. I wasn't there the longest. The like I came in after crew call. Uh, I was already there for like 13 hours at this point. This was like a 16, 17 hour day, and the uh, uh, <laughs> I'm gassed. I'm tired. You know, it's like 1 a.m., 2 a.m., and you're just like. You know, and I was like, I don't know how I'm supposed to do this, this car scene where like I'm like worried about things that are happening in the, in the kingdom and hilltop everything, and I'm like, and I was like, wait a minute. So I'm with Satchel Zemus again, who's directing, and, I, and then I go, action. Cut. 
mind, he was like, that, that was great. <laughs> that was great. And I was like, and I was like, but that was the most full circle. I never understood why he did that, but you're like, how do I get into the, in, you, you know, like, like do push-ups. It's like, yeah, but then I'm going to pull the thing out. My hair is going to go forward, and I'm going to be sweating because, you know, it's a, two whole push-ups is a lot for me. So it's a, you know, so getting, you know, getting that kind of physical exertion is, whoo. Um, no, but, like, getting that, like, just getting that through, and then it was, I was just like, but literally 50 yards, like, like, I mean, they were, it was up on this little part of the hill, then, like, I dropped down, and, that's where I was on the, on the thing, and I just remember that was like three years later. I was like, "Wow, this is a this is one of those those moments, you know." And <laughs> yeah, that was a super full awesome. circle. Yeah, I guess it would be more like a really tight horseshoe if we got literal. <laughs> it would just be he was here, and then I went to here, but it was just a very really tight horseshoe. Oh, that's still awesome. I, I love that. <laughs> you guys want to pop off some questions? Let's let's pop off a couple questions real quick. So. Yeah. You, you were doing sound. Yes. How long were you doing sound before you? Uh, I, yeah, I was a uh, I was a boom op um, for over ten years. Um, I, I'm I'm in IATSE. Uh, I'm part of that union as well. Um, uh, yeah, so over ten years. I mean, like like after. So my sorry, and I do not suggest this, children. <laughs> do not. My young friends do not do this. Um, I dropped out of high school with three weeks left. Um, I was so afraid of doing something that wasn't film related that I would, like I had aptitudes to do, you know, I could have done, I, I could have done anything. I could have done a rocket scientist, no problem. Um, I believe it though. But I there was, there were so many moments where I was so afraid that it's like, I mean, we have, we have this one life, you know, we have this one life and I knew then I was like, you know, I'm like, I just do what I want to do without, you know, without like, you know, I don't want to like hurt anybody, but like, you know, let me, you know, do what I want to do. So I had, you know, it was A's and B's, but yeah, three weeks left. And I went to each teacher and I was like, oh, so is it, are we just doing, preparing for finals now? Is that, you know, is that, is that what this is like? Yeah, so uh, yeah, take a seat. I'm like, oh, I'm just like, you know, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm done with school. Uh, thank you. And then the, everyone was like, they were questioning, but they weren't surprised. And it was one of those things where the, the teachers weren't, Really worried about me about it. Um, you know, my mom when I told her, I was like, she's like, "Well, you're gonna have to get a better paying job." <laughs> I, was like, I was like, "I can't teach trombone anymore." Um, uh, so I was doing uh, construction from. I keep saying construction, but like handyman stuff. You know, like I was with uh, my friend's dad. He, you know, he would be doing siding or plumbing or just you know stuff like that. You know, like, and and so I'd be up like by five a.m. Uh, uh, <laughs> As I got to know this guy, it started getting increasingly later. But, um, <laughs> but you know, I'd get up, you know, get up early. And then once, uh, you know, I'd be done by like 4 p.m., 5 p.m. Then I would drive to my buddy's place, and then we would just start filming stuff, you know. So it, like half my day was like, okay, work. But the entire time I'm working, I would just be thinking about what we're going to be shooting later. But you know, the things I thought about then. Or, di or the, the approach, you know. So I had to learn very slowly on how we. How do you shoot a movie? It's like just take a camera and go. It's like, well, maybe we should do a script. Okay, write a script. <laughs> That's real easy. <laughs> just, just write a script real quick. So we did. It's terrible. We didn't. <laughs> but but uh, but it's but uh, I never. I just my 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 thing. I wanted when I left. I knew I knew I wanted to work in entertainment. I knew I, I knew I wanted that like. I knew there was no way I wasn't going to be. There was like no way. I just knew like from, we, we uh, my friends and I were the, uh, they started a film class like right after we left, but we started up like the, the film club and we were just, you know, all our projects were like, you know, these elaborate like videos where, you know, we would have like the bootleg final draft and for like a 45 second clip, you know, it would take like 19 hours to, render so it's like so we had you know you nowadays just like instantly renders you're like that's cool <laughs> and then if you and you're like i didn't take out three of those frames so it's i have to re-edit and not have to wait another 19 hours um but that was you know that was how we 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 did it we loved you know that, like i loved it i love the whole process it's a job where you can work with friends and like so, oh, well, I'm not an actor. Great. Most of the people on a, on a film set are not actors. You know, it's everyone's a creator, but sometimes you know, it's like, 
well, I only know how to work with wood. Guess what buildings are made out of? Get, and it's like, you know, someone's telling me they, you know, they're studying, they're like a year left of being an architect, you know, going to architecture school. That's a, that a college for architecture. It's like your, your high school diploma is not showing right now, Cooper. Um, so, the, uh, uh, but it's like, you could be, you could be designing sets and you can make 20 houses in like a third of the time because we don't have to build the code. We just have to build it to film code. It's just gotta like stay up for three months don't actually live in the house, you know, but you can, there's so many things like, oh, well, I, mean, I like to paint, but I'm not like the best painter. It's like, well, guess what? Things need to look be aged and distressed. Like when you look at cars, like on shows, they always look like dirty or they'll look really clean. I mean, it's like, but there's so much that you can do on a, on a set. So that, that was the thing that always bugged me. Like teachers were always like, well, be realistic. All right, let's be realistic. There's 1,500 jobs on a, for a movie. You know, there's, you know, on a smaller one, you got a few hundred. Yeah, uh, it's there's there's work. It's there. You know, I get calls still for being uh, for doing sound. Now, when it was during a like pandemic, my wife and I we did a week of second unit on Loki. Um, so she was uh, she was doing like the wiring for sound, and I was just booming. But it was all second unit stuff. Uh, so it's like plate shots. You know, so like we plate shot is where the actors did a thing on the green screen. Now we're going to the actual location to shoot. To shoot the angles of the of where they'd be sitting, and then we'll, we'll put them in later because I, I didn't watch Loki, but I imagine there's like this fish tank thing we did, um, and uh, uh, I just remember. I mean, like, it, it, I love going back to do crew stuff because I remember why, like, how how lucky I am as far as like getting to be an actor. But luck is is everyone was that was that thing for luck? It's one percent. Uh, um, yeah, you know, one say it. Inspiration. And 99%? Perspiration. Okay, well, I was going to say it's a, uh, 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 I, I think it's, um, it's, it's, uh, luck is preparation meets, uh, meets, uh, opportunity. Yes. And that's what that was. So when people are like, why are you doing this? Why well, come in handy? It's like, well, you know, I did, I did yo yoing as a kid. I used to like play with yo yo's two handed, like spinning around, whatever, like trapeze tricks, all that stuff. You know, I was like, oh, that's lame. Well, then, you know, 26 years old, 27 years old, and uh, uh, Halt and Catch Fire comes around, and the character's name is Yo-Yo, um, who's this computer computer engineer, but he has a Yo-Yo. And so as I slate my name, hey, I'm Cooper Andrews, 6'2", whatever, and I'm like, I do like a, I'm doing like a trapeze trick uh, in the middle of it, but that's, they're like, oh, interesting. So then they came back, but that's what, on top of that, plus like I look at a scene, and I'm like, okay, I'm that guy. I know, like, I, 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 there's when you see a character that you want to play, you, you, there's almost like an instant connection. It's sort of like when you see someone, like you're, you know, someone like you when you meet people, you're like that person's going to be my friend. Like you, it's it's that same thing when I read like a, when I read a role, I'm just like, I know this guy, I love this guy, you know, and it's and you can find that you find that connect fast. Um, don't know where I was going with that, but. Just, yeah. Anyone, uh, who's, who here's uh, like getting into, is anyone working film or acting, theater stuff, anybody? Well then. Uh -huh. Man, do I love vodka. <laughs> Cheers. 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 <laughs> go, go, go. I mean, that is really cold. Thank you. Thank you, Kevin. Um, yeah, there was a, uh, so I was a bartender years ago. Uh, I, my joke is like, there was like alcohol and it was like a bunch of actors. I'm like, surely there's a bartender here that can deal with this. And everyone was like, <laughs> 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 have to remind everyone what we did. Um, uh, but yeah, I did. I worked at this place called Park Bench in Buckhead in Atlanta, and uh, our, our bar was. I mean, he, he this guy would take Kettle One bottles and then he would put like Mr. Boston in the Kettle One bottles. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I was 22, and I was like, all right, this is how things are done. I'm like, oh, that's illegal. Um, I will totally throw that person under the bus, too. He's kind of a piece of garbage. So, um, uh, but he, uh, uh, these two Russians come in. It's Wednesday night, by myself, these two just, I'm like, you guys just stepped out of a movie. You're not real. And they both have vodka. I'm like, mmm, would you like me to chill it? <laughs> no. I give them the kettle, and we, like, we don't. I, I was like, we have like these shot cups, and I just pour it into the, the thing as they both drink it. They look at me, they leave the cash, and I leave, and I was like, yeah, they do. 
Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and it was in that moment that occurred to me, oh, I guess vodka just tastes different. I was like, it's always gonna, I, I mean, like, me, like, alcohol is like, I can't rock it. It's a, I used to, but I can't rock it. It's just too, <laughs> I just feel terrible. I was like, oh. never, I never got hangover, but I just felt like terrible. It's like, oh, I'm so greasy and like, gross and like, stuff. That's a hangover. I get hangovers, but, uh, you know, what? one quick thing, though. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, why not? Why, why not we take one slow thing? No, we got to wrap it up here pretty shortly, but sure. any other questions? Anything that wants to, Walking Dead related, other movies related, nothing like that? Because, I mean, I can sit here and put out a couple more questions or anything else like that. Yes. Okay, because she's uh, new to ask, so I asked told her to do it. She said she wasn't going to, so I'm calling her out for not doing it. <laughs> what was your favorite episode or your favorite of the ones that you were on? Uh, my favorite episode, yes. my favorite episode um, that I've done will be in October or November. It's coming up. It's cool. It's a really, it's a really cool episode. Um, I think you guys are gonna love fun with that one. That like when we shot that, I was like, we're in a new location. I'm like, this this is gonna be this is gonna be a blast. It was uh, I want you know, the, the people I'm with the people I'm with is possible. It's but the people I'm the people I'm with in that. I mean, it's oh god, it's like four of us. It's just a it's a really it's a really fun episode. Um, so that's that was my favorite one. Uh, that's that I've done. But ones that you've seen, I mean, I love the cave episode. That, but the, I mean, that that season eight episode with the with the kingdom, that one will, that was the first one because that was also the first time I had to have that kind of feeling. I was, because you know, everyone's like, what do you do to get in preparation? You know, Andy would like listen to his music, and everyone would get into this like dark place, and Jerry's like, I'm just listening to musicals. You know, I was like, this is a, you know, I always got to be in that headspace. But then this was like a whole week of like, well. Oh, just gutting, gutting, then she would die, and like gutted, gutted, and you just feel like that's all I did with this. You know, that was one of the that was one of the hardest things we've, we've ever shot. Um, it's 100 degrees, 100 percent humidity. I was getting heat rash on my body. Nearly pat every time I swung that axe on the on the fence, multiple angles, multiple takes. That was the real axe. They're like, don't hit the don't hit the lock. You'll probably break it. Don't hit the hinge because you'll probably break it. Just hit the chain. So it's me going, ah, 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 and I was like. This whole side, like th this side of my obliques, was so like tight that I was like, "Oh, this was, I wish it was always like this, this hard." But then, uh, um, but afterwards, we got to go. Someone asked me last night, "He's like, do you like going to conventions?" Like, I don't do anything I don't like. That's sort of been like the whole from what I say. You know, like, sometimes you have to do things you don't like. Sure, but there's a way we can enjoy it. You know, there's not like. Uh, so after this, after this episode, Kari and I we were we got to go to a convention in D.C. And this guy comes up to us, we don't know this guy. And he's like, You guys want to do a ride along in a helicopter? You know, you guys want to do a ride in a helicopter today? And Kari and I were like, We're both just, we, we just came from this episode and we're like, Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know you, yes. We get in this guy's car. He, and immediately I knew he was like, he was like high up on the, on the, like in the, on the police ranks, I guess. Or, and I know this because we're going through DC just going through red lights. Red lights, red lights. Cops see his car. This is just this is Jeep. No one, no one even thinks to like stop. I'm like, oh, all right, this is this is cool. So we're doing a ride along in this helicopter, right? Where we got to go in like restricted airspace because they, you know, so we're like looking over like the Jefferson Memorial. Um, but like, we're not gonna be in the White House. They're gonna wonder why we're doing that. But like going like over a baseball stadium. Um, but then, okay, uh, we had to. Uh, they, we we got a call. So, <laughs> during a call, it's not good for grown men to be going, eeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
what a lucky release for that. Like, how do you how do you feel better after an episode that intense? Well, you you, you chase some bad guys in a helicopter, obviously. <laughs> but yeah, is, is, are we up? is that it for time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. guys, thank you, Scooper.